Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, for Cynic Corello's Gaming, I will be looking at the new Football Manager mode uh, called Challenge. Well, it's not really new, as um, it was introduced first in the uh, mobile version of the game last time round, and it was quite fun. Uh, they've introduced it into the uh, PC version, and we have four options here, but I'm going to be looking at the uh, Invincibles one, because I feel it's probably the hardest one to do. And it's quite short, which makes it kind of nice to play. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, start this off. Um, the uh, new uh, challenge mode uses the uh, the uh, the um, new kind of UI of the um, of the game uh, called Classic Mode, which is basically Football Manager without all the kind of uh, complicated and uh, it kind of makes speeds up gameplay. It means that you can kind of just enjoy the fact that you're pretending to be a football manager, uh, don't need help. Uh, for this you can only choose one nation, um, so you know it's really kind of it's solely purposed on doing just the challenge, nothing else. Uh, another thing is that if your team that you choose is in like the Champions League or other competitions, you'll be automatically kind of made to lose these kind of tournaments, so if you're in the Champions League, uh, in your group you will be bottom with six defeats and six games conceded. In the League Cup, you'll be knocked out, and in the uh, FA Cup, you'll be knocked out if you're playing as an English team, and the same for every other league, basically. Um, so yeah, we're just going to quickly run into the game. I'm just going to... Okay, so uh, we get thrown straight into this screen where you just put all your uh, information in. So, same as last time, name, last name, gender, date of birth, nationality, favourite team, picture, nationality, which I'm going to choose Portuguese or Portuguese as it's actually pronounced. Past playing experience, doesn't really matter at this point, so I just put international footballer, because I quite like to be one of those, but I can't, because I'm rubbish at football. Dress me as Harry Chapman, instead of Chapman Harry, because it just sounds stupid. Uh, then your social network logins, then you choose a team, and you can pick any team from England, because I chose the English uh, leagues. I'm going to choose Chelsea, because uh, I'm a Chelsea fan, and uh, I feel... Uh, because you start in February, you probably have the best chance of actually doing it. You pr probably do it with City or United, but I think Chelsea have a, enough uh, depth in their squad to overthrow any injury worries that we probably might get during this season and kind of stop us from finishing the task. So you just click Confirm, and uh, you get this newspaper article, which um, is quite... Um, is there quite a lot in this new IU, UI? I don't know how to mix what it is, but it's kind of a new way of looking at it. You get them a lot, which just tells you a little bit about like stories which are going on. And it's quite nice to uh, have this instead of having to read a load of text. And yeah, it's just a nice way to get people kind of into Football Manager, maybe like kids or something. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. Okay, as you can see here, um, not much has changed. Uh, for this new kind of set out. Uh, it looks a bit more uh, easy to read and stuff. Um, if you notice you get kind of this kind of stuff going on. Oh, I don't really want to choose Don Terry but he's a good captain. Um, you get welcome to the club. It's, it's quite streamlined. It's very similar to uh, previous football managers. Uh, but um, yeah you don't have to kind of do any of the kind of things that takes. This is what I'm on about earlier. Uh, processing screen now has um, kind of dates which are coming up soon, uh, some quick kind of snippets of information, uh, how you're doing, where you are in the league, how many points, and your next game, when it is. It's quite, uh, gives you a nice feel to what you uh, are going to be doing and what's happening in the world of your game. Uh, not much has happened because I've just started. I'm glad I didn't spell my name wrong. But yeah, uh, this might... Okay, so as you can see, we've set a new record in the Champions Cup for not scoring. Uh, I'll just show you what group stages all probably in the. Here we are. Here we are. Six losses and six goals against. Uh, that happens in pretty much every tournament. Well, only this tournament. Uh, and instead of having like a big press conferences on this new kind of layout. You get uh, just one question, and yeah, I'm delighted with the facilities, you know. I gush. Gushes. Okay. Um, I hope that's not what I think it means, because that is a bit rude and a bit disgusting. 
Uh, new, yeah, okay, team of the week. Uh, the thing that I want to go and quickly do, uh, first match is not for a while, I believe. Uh, date is 13, so not for 13 days. So we've got quite a lot to do in those 13 days. Um, oh, crap. Um, how injured is he? Three, okay, you know I was saying that um, I would chose Chelsea because uh, I'd be able to uh, withstand most injury problems. Well, that has just gone out of the bloody window. Um... <laughs> Uh, checks injured, uh, which means I don't have a first goalkeeper. Uh, can I recall you from loan? No. Okay, well, um, this could be fun to play now, seeing as my other two goalkeepers are absolute crap. Well, anyway, another thing you'll see is that you don't get uh, under-18s for this bit, so you don't have to muddle around with young people. Which, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly advance. So yeah, uh, if we click continue, you get your little newspaper here. Which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, you get kind of all the information of what's happened. So, FA Cup, Reading uh, beat West Brom. Uh, stuff like that. And you can click on transfer rumours. And then you get kind of this. Aaron Ramsey to Chelsea. Geordie, can't, I can't sign anyone, it's February, so, but yeah, you get quite a nice, uh, it's quite, it's, I, I quite like this version, um, I probably won't play it, because I really kind of like the technical, and the kind of, uh, I like the feel to the other one, it makes it seem a little bit more like I'm running the club rather than, oh, here's a load of questions, it's, 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 but yeah, this is, this is good for first time football manager players, who, uh, would rather, just play the game rather than having to play mind games and chat with players and stuff like that. So, uh, just processing. Alright, after just, you know, randomly clicking continue for the past two or three minutes, finally come to my first game um, against Swansea. So... I'm not going to use that formation. I'm going to use one of the um, awesome. Maybe which one should I use? Uh, I'll use awesome. No, no. I right, said so basic. Oh no, I don't want to. Yes, I do want to do that. And you need to be an attacking playmaker. So basically, I just play how Chelsea play: um, sweeper, keeper, wing backs, limits, limited defender, ball playing defender, uh, box box midfielder, deep playing playmaker. Shouldn't be playmaker. You should be a uh, ball, box to box midfielder, and then just an advance forward. Um, uh, I'm going to play Hilario, maybe? I don't really know, because they're both equally as bad. No offense to them, but they are, compared to Czech. Um, Gary Cahill, Terry, you. Um, Ramirez, Lampard, Mata, Oscar, Oscar, Hazard, and oh, Torres. Okay, and unpick positions because that is really boring. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Um, let's jump into the first game, and uh, straight away you'll see a difference between this version and the full kind of game version. Is that it's nothing the same, really. I've already got Champions League. Or is that UEFA Cup? No, it'd be Europa Cup. It'd be Europa League. Anyway, so yeah, you, you see a bit of a difference already. Uh, if my game decides not to freeze. You kind of get just these. Uh, you don't have to do team talks. Which makes the whole experience quicker. Go straight into the game. And uh, yeah. So up here. You get like match feed. So you can see what's going on time for time. If you for some reason not watching the match. Uh, style, you can change your style, so... Oh god, we've conceded, that's a good start. Uh, strategy, so yep, yeah, you can change You can change this all within uh, here without having... Tactics you can change without having to go through the whole tactical manager. You can strap team instructions, and you can make substitutions from here. Down here you have all your settings, so you can change the camera angle, 
Rail. What is rail? Tell me. That's, that's, this is rail. This is rail, apparently. Doesn't look any different, if I'm honest. Uh, sideline. Sideline. Main stand. Go Torres! Uh, can also um, go back into 2D or 2D Classic, which is like the older version of how football manager used to be. The, the way people kind of. Some people still like watching it this way. I, I, I quite like it this way, but I've been spoiled by 3D. Uh, what's the TV look like? I'll just have it wood on TV. Okay. So I'm going to let this play for a bit. Oh, 2 0, yes. 2 1, in fact. I forgot we conceded. I'm going to let this run for a bit, and uh, I'll join you at half time. So, um, as you can probably see, we're at half time now. And when you get to half time, you get to kind of this screen, which kind of gives you an overall stats of everyone here. And, oh, that is a very good point. I should probably, you can click on them, apparently. Well, I just clicked on one and it took me straight there. Okay, you can't do that apparently. Okay, so yeah, you kind of, uh, here you can see all the stats of your players, how they're playing, how your opposition are playing, kind of a report of what kind of happened, stats, and then just like an overall view of what everyone's doing. Uh, and then you get kind of your average ones here. Click on pitch, you can just see an empty pitch. And then it gives you opportunity to click play and it should play, like so. So we're going to watch about... 30 seconds because you don't want to watch me play shout at your screen really do you you probably do but i'm not gonna let you do it so i'll join you at the end of this episode